question. Just mind checking, just mind checking, then we'll join you properly. Hold fire, just a moment. <sighs> Looks like it's going to absolutely pour with rain, doesn't it? Any minute. So am I. What's the date today? 5th of April. 2024. I'm just trying to find broadcast so I can... Oh, here we go. We're in the right phone this time. Yes, we're in the right account. The right we account. have audio. We have and audio. Titi is back with a vengeance. Yay! Morning, everybody. Good morning. We are back. And we're back to our summer hours, which means that from um, the Tuesday after the bank um, holiday, Tuesday. we've been back on our full hours. We've certainly got audio. We've got audio coming from every phone now. And... Um, uh, yeah, it's only been a week and I'm totally knackered already. It's been really, really, really full on. And in one sense, I'm delighted that I'm back in it. So I'm in control and I leave at the end of the night and I know what I have to do the next day. And in other ways, I go home and I sit and I dribble and I am absolutely banjaxed. And it's been a really full on week, hasn't it? What an image of me sitting there dribbling, have you? <laughs> It's not a pretty sight, not a pretty sight. But um, I, I almost don't want to say this because I might just hex it. But for the last two weeks, the week before the bank holiday, the Easter bank holiday week, it felt as if something in the ether had changed and suddenly we were busy again, weren't we? And we felt like we were back to normal days, which was amazing, you know, lots of people, activity on the high street. And dare I say, even some ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. I sort of feel like I can maybe open up and be a bit honest and tell you that it had got to a stage where, in my own mind, I'd set a date. We weren't that far off that date where, if things hadn't picked up, I was going to make the decision to, um, dare I say it, close the shop. And... Um, it wasn't something I was taking lightly, but you can't just keep on going, living in hope that things are going to pick up. It has to be real, otherwise it's just a hobby, and it's a hobby that I'm putting the bill for. So um, we hadn't quite got to that date, but it wasn't that far off in the future. And um, I don't know whether it was almost like the ether heard me and it said, no, I don't want you to close, don't close. And suddenly it's got, busy again and the malt house in Stroud suddenly has got busy again as far as our concession is concerned and paint is flying out I mean everybody's getting their springtime spring cleaning mojo on so if things continue like this I'm happy to say looks like we'll be here for a while longer so we'll obviously keep reviewing it because at the end of the day it is a business but um so far so good so Thank you everybody that's been in in the last couple of weeks and bought things and things that we've had around for quite a long time have suddenly started to shift which is great are there people saying hellos and things uh, no Looks but like we it. have got people here with us oh um, that's really nice of you thank you if you feel like jumping in and saying hello or asking any questions or anything like that we would be very happy to hear from you so a couple of little things to sort of just tell you about Summer hours means that we are open every day from 10 to 5, apart from Wednesdays and Sundays. However, next week, it's the Wooten Auction Week, and viewing day is on Monday, and then there are sales on the Tuesday and the Wednesday. So Nick and I are going to be here on Wednesday doing some work in the shop, so we will be open. So if anybody's going up to the auction on Wednesday or going up to collect stuff they've purchased on Tuesday, then do stop by. Um, we'll be here. And we'll be leaving the shop probably at around about three. So from sort of half past nine till three, we'll be here. Simon Meadows. Simon. Is the moon made of cheese? <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> morning, doll. Hope you can come down and see me today. And um, I'll get my checkbook out. So, um, 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 yes, yeah, so next Wednesday we will be open. But back to summer hours. And in lots of ways, that's a good thing. So that's great. Um, we've got lots of new stock in which we'll show you, but just to quickly say as well, our competition to name all the colours on our stripy sideboard that I'd painted, which by the way is now for sale up at the Malt House, 
um, we had one contender, only one. And so guess what? She won the prize. And to be fair, she got all the colours right, bar one. And I think we just turned a blind eye to that because it was really good of her to even take part. And I'm pleased to say that Charlotte Cooper, who is on Facebook, and um, she's called CC Upcycles, which CC, capital C, CC Upcycles. Um, she's one of my regular customers. She's a great painter. And she came in and she chose a tin of steaming green as her prize. And she paints kitchens beautifully. So if anybody's thinking about having their kitchen painted and they don't want to do all the prep work and the actual painting themselves, do come in and I will happily give you Charlotte's uh, telephone contact details so that you can contact her and get her to come and do a quote for you. She's excellent, a really nice lady. Um, so that's that. Um, that's it, housekeeping done, yay. So let's do some walking around and some new stock. Can't even remember what we had in the shop before. I don't think we had this table, did we? So this was um. This Hayley was is saying good morning from me, Claire, and the girls. Oh, good morning! Hey, if you get a chance, come in and say hello. I'd love to see you all. Um, this was a, a little pine table which was well past its sell-by date, um, and it had been previously painted, but it was pretty knackered. So I've sanded it right back. Um, and we've painted it using the original range, the Anguilla from the original range, which I do love using those paints. <laughs> they're a bit more chalky, they're not self-leveling, um, they're a bit more sort of rustic, but it gives you an opportunity to just sort of do different types of finishes. And then just to lift the table, I've used some of our King's Gold from the Metallics range, just to give it a bit of a lift. And I think that's particularly lovely, I really like it. And guess what? It's only on for £195, so a good deal for somebody. Nick's just bought these in. These came in this morning, a pair of really lovely solid bedside cabinets. And um, I've got him to paint the insides using the hot lips from the Alfresco range, just to give it a bit of a wow factor. We're into painting the insides of the drawers in red at the moment, aren't we, Nick? I'll show you another one in a minute. So I've just literally had them in. We haven't priced them. They came out of Nick's van 10 minutes ago. I put the uh, tassels on because I do love a tassel and we'll price those up and get those on today. Michael Winger is saying morning from the Chiltern Hills. Morning, morning. Mike. How are you doing, mister? Nice to know you're there. Um, this is uh, gorgeous. I just love this. This is a French antique pine chest of drawers. Just got so much gorgeousness going on with it. I just absolutely love it. And the top drawer has been sectioned. All the others are normal drawers, but this one's been sectioned. So... You could use it for your makeups and things if you had it in a bedroom or socks, knickers and bras or whatever. Um, but just a lovely piece of kit and that one's on for 460. Um, this one, this was a collaboration between Nick and myself. Um, I, I, Nick says I'm the artistic director. I kind of say to him, well, this is what I want you to do. And I send him away and he does it because he's marvellous. And this one was the most tired, horrible, um, dressing table stroke desk and so I said let's funk it up and go a little bit mad and I do love a stripe so um, we've done it with the black and white both from the lazy range and then again just to sort of make it look a bit sexy we've done the red on the insides and we've got two black legs on the front and two white legs on the back and I happen to think it goes jolly well with our parrot lamp so this is on for 450 and if somebody wants to have the parrot lamp to go with it, which does look really cool, that's on for 124. We have this in, this is really nice. I can imagine this on a kitchen window sill with some herbs in it, that's 23.95. Crackle glazed, pretty sort of design on it. Really like that one. Uh, we've had the picture in, which is um, vases and urns, uh, French, that's on for 48 pound 50. Really nice frame, just think it looks the business. Um, the star is now sold. It's funny because I was going to lower the star. It's funny when you bring something into consciousness and then suddenly action happens. Yesterday I thought to myself, I'm going to lower this star and I'm going to put this above the star because it's got the brackets in to wall mount it. And I was going to say, well, you've heard of the cow jumping over the moon and now we've got the hare jumping over a star. Mm -hmm. And then blow me down, somebody bought the star and they're coming in to pick it up hopefully tomorrow. 
we've had some gorgeous little cactus plants in. Um, I love little cactus plants. They, they've come to us in the little plastic pots, but I already had some vintage terracotta pots and they fitted perfectly. So we've put some into the little vintage pots. So you have a choice. You can buy them in the plastic pots, you can buy the terracotta pots on their own, or you can buy them in the terracotta pot. And I also have this dear little planter in a little mini watering can and um, the little uh, cactus just happens to fit rather nicely in that as well. So that's really cute. And the prices are on our Instagram page. Um, so I won't go into all the details of all the different combinations. We have had this in. Now this was a bespoke piece. This was made for somebody. Simon's saying he wanted that star. Yes, I know you did, Simon's, but you've been deliberately dithering for months and now you've lost it so, so there rude you go. to your customers i know but simon know knows how you get it. away with it i mean it with love when it comes to signs so um this little unit here which is rather nice nice chunky little thing i personally think that this would be a much nicer look if it was painted and then rubbed back or maybe some defining wax put on it it's still talking to me. I haven't quite decided yet what we're going to do with it, but it's a really nice chunky little chest. Tracy Allen saying good morning all. Morning, morning, Tracy. Nice to know you're there, my lovely. Um, this has come in. Um, this has got a little secret drawer in it, and I think this is a very sexy little bit of console table. However, the top is marked, which we knew when we bought it, and it's going to be difficult to match the black lacquer. So what we're thinking of doing See here, there's not much we can do about this, this is heat marks. So what we're thinking of doing is using our King's Gold for the Metallics range, which is the colour that's on the little knobs on the um, desk there, or the side, what do you call that, dressing table, and then doing a little bit of distressing back to match this. So the top will be gold, and the rest of it will be the black and gold in the distressed fashion that's in now, which I think is going to look really nice. Might do that today. Um, let's just step over Paddy's bed. And then over here, we've got this cat. I think he's got a sort of a quite a sexy face, and he's actually covered in fabric. Sexiest word of the day. It is actually, mm. yes, yeah, sexy. Sexy. I don't know why, but hey, let's go with it, shall we? Um, anything Stag. else? Hmm? Stag, oh, yes, yes, we've got Stanley the Stag. I haven't put him on yet because he's been painted white, mm. and Stag. I want to put some um, defining wax on him which will make him look like that, Ginger. I don't know if you can zoom in on that middle piece of wood there, which is also painted in white and we've used defining wax on it. <coughs> and it will just show up the sort of the brush marks and the, the little nooks and the crannies, which I think will look rather nice. So we'll try and get that one done and on. I've got Sophie back in tomorrow, so she's going to be a great help. She'll come in and help me do all these things. But I just think chucking a few hats on it was always a bit, a bit fun. Did we show you this? India Jane in a uh, jar. I don't think we did, did we? Um, new in India Jane, lovely, lovely, lovely little squash ginger jar, and that's on for forty four ninety five, and that's a sort of a black and cream colourway. Um, anything else up here? We we finished this piece of decoration and stuff that I was doing. Do you remember the last live I did? I was um, showing you uh, the use of the. Mother Duck from the original range, and um, after it was over, I've distressed it back, painted on some gold here, and used some brownie wax just to dirty it up and make it look sort of old. And it's it's only just a little bit of nothing really, but it might just look nice on somebody's wall, and you could even put some little cactus plants along the top of it because it's big enough. So uh, I think I put that on for twenty two pound fifty, but anyway, it's on our on our Insta and Facebook page. Um, don't know if we'd had this in the last time everybody was here. It seems like a long time ago since we did a live. This is on for $64.95, a really, really very nice stool with an oak top, um, sort of contoured for your bum, so nice and comfortable. Um, stools are always so useful. Um, then, we want you to see if you can spot something different down here. Whoever spots it first gets a pat on the head and a peanut. Shelves. Yay, well done, Ginge. That's the first time you've seen it too, isn't yeah. it? So um, we'd had a bit of an issue with some damp down in this corner. There's a drain on the other side. and We've had so much rain that I decided the best thing to do would be to take the shelves down, 
and um, repaint the walls. It's only had one coat. We haven't filled all the holes properly yet, but that's Nick's job to do today. And um, actually, I think it's going to be quite useful because I was the worst person at keeping the shelves looking neat and tidy, I must admit. But I think we can now put lots of mirrors up here and pictures. And if we have a big tall dress or something like that, we can always put it in there as well. So nice bit of space that opened up there. That'll all look proper. The shelves are a complete mess. We haven't had time to deal with that yet, but there's no change there. Um, what else is there down here? Mm -mm -mm. I have shown people this before, but I simply can't believe it's still here. Forty-two ninety-five. A really, really gorgeous ceramic bowl. That would look so good on somebody's big kitchen table filled with fruit or pine cones or whatever. We sold the little saddle stone yesterday. That's going off to its new home. Um, lots of pots coming in now. We've got this gorgeous chimney, the one with the bunch of grapes and the vine going up around the chimney. That's on for $139.95. It's, it's a second-hand one. It's been used. We've cleaned it out, works perfectly, just lovely. Um, the big French mirror, that's now gone off to its new home. I put this on yesterday, this, um, I don't know what to call it, I still don't know what to call Teardrop. it. Teardrop holder thingy, yes, yes. Um, that's on for 42 95 it doesn't include the pots, but these little platforms that I've put our little cactus pots on um, are perfect for candles. And because it's metal, it's not going to be an issue. And I just think that's extremely nice attractive. It's patio warm. It, it? It's lovely. I mean, it could be indoors or outdoors. And, you know, night lights or um, slightly bigger candles or slightly stumpier ones. But I actually really like it with the little cactus plants in it. I put this here just to remind me. Everybody, look, this is a really gorgeous log basket on wheels. It's even got brakes on the wheels. And I keep meaning to bring up some decorative logs. Do you remember Dad and his decorative logs? Woe be tidings if we burn one of his mm. decorative logs. But um, that filled with logs, I mean, it's so useful. And you can even wheel it backwards and forwards from your log store and put it outside your back door for when you need them. So that's really good. This was something that I was doing at home recently. I was messing about using the King's Gold. This little terracotta pot had a campus leaves on it. And I just fiddle faddled around and... Just put some gold on it and the gold around the rim. And um, that just needs some, some herbs or something on the kitchen window. So that's on for $28.95. Right, yes, find his lead, Nick, and we'll just pop outside and have a little look at what's outside. It feels as if the shop has got a very different vibe, and I don't know if it's because I've not been here so much and now I'm back, or whether it's just been there's been a lot of stock going out. And a lot of new stock coming in. I've got more stock out the back, which I haven't yet had a chance to price up. So um, it's uh, cooking on gas. He's a good boy. So we've had these um, two very nice square, heavy metal galvanized planters. These would be super uh, for planting two nice big tall trees, you know, the pom-pom trees. What would those be? They would be olive trees or bay, bay. bay trees. That's bay leaf trees. They've got a hole in the bottom. Um, they're on for £125 each. Oh, yeah. Um, we've got the herb plants here. I feel sorry for these herbs because when I'm not here, they spend three days inside, and although I water them well before I go, they're fighting to get to the light, so they're much better once they're in somebody's garden. Nick's just carrying up. We've got a pair of these. I love these. How sexy is that? That's gorgeous. Uh, these are on for £125 each. Um, really nice, stylish garden chairs, and they could be waxed, or they could be painted using the alfresco paint, which obviously is weatherproof. And you could make them very super stylish if you wanted to. But me, I just love rust. So those would be perfect. So we've got two of those. Um, still got the lovely galvanized baths. Those are very on. Very sexy, uh, Tracy They're, Allen is saying. They, yeah, they are, Tracy. Mm -hmm. They are. Uh, these, that one's on for $44.95. We've got a slightly bigger one again, which is on for $49.95. And then the biggest one is on for $69.95. These just look lovely in a garden and they're not going to rust, they're no problem at all. This came in really good quality. This is made by Rayburn. They've got the badge on the back. 
They're in perfect condition. They fold up flat. They are absolutely lovely. We haven't priced this yet, have we, Nick? No, that's going to be a job for today. We only got it in yesterday, and I was so busy yesterday. But they all fold up, including the table. They could be painted, but they're lovely just as they are. Um, we sold the plant stand. That sold yesterday. I only put it out, and an hour later it was gone, but he's coming to pick it up next week. Um, we've got some little plant, these little things that go underneath your pots. That's two odd ones there. But anyway, we've got matching ones here. And the pot feet are on for 150 each. The lovely metal basket, which I always think would be so lovely, filled with geraniums. Got the two handles. That's on for 38.95. The what? Oh yes, the um, the pinks are for sale. We we bought some pinks in because I love pinks, and those are on for 2.95 per pot. And pinks they're perennials. They just keep on coming back. They smell delicious, and they're just so pretty. I'm starting to get some more plants coming in now, hopefully if the rain stops. And um, is there anything else down here? Yeah, the metal trunk, metal trunk, which has got oh, two handles on either side. It's on for 58.95. The catch actually works. Just got to work out how to undo it. And the inside is all painted in blue. So great for toys, great for storage, great for winter woolies and things, duvets, etc. And um, I think that's it. We've got the decoy thing here. We've still got the duck hunt on in Wooten and Red. So if you've got children and you want to do a duck hunt, then if you go to get your form in um, from the little bookshop down the road, Cotswold Bookshop, then they've got the forms and you can take your children all around all the shop fronts. I'm being ushered indoors. <laughs> <laughs> Time to end. She's going, cut. That's because she has to do all the uploading afterwards. Any news on um, uh, the, my brain is shot today, Ukraine, yes. Um, out of date first aid collection is still happening. You can drop them at PP shop or you can get in touch and I can collect. We've had some very uh, generous donations. Thank you, keep you coming, it's all yes. still needed. Thank you, isn't it funny? He now knows the routine. He comes in once we've been outside and he sits on the mat and his paw goes up as if to say, is it time for my treat? And yes, Paddy Padster, you've been such a good boy. You've been so good. And he came with us to a, a giant flea fair and he walked around all day with us. He did nine and a half kilometres. And then we went to a cafe, you know, a restaurant to have some supper afterwards. And he fell asleep under the table. I mean, he's knackered all week, we said. Yeah, that was three days. Such a good boy. We love you to bits, Paddy Padster. So let's give you a treat and we'll see you all next week. Thank you so much. Thank Bye you. Bye for now. Bye.